Hi, Sagittarius, and welcome to your monthly tarot reading for August. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you're doing well and that you are happy and having fun and feeling good. So this is a general reading that would benefit any sun, moon, or rising Sagittarius sign. And hopefully something here will resonate with you. Um, we can look to the cards to get a sense of the energies and insights from the universe, from divine source uh, that can help you out for August. So I'm just going to keep the cards that I drew for your reading and I'll never of course be able to remember what I said, but we'll just start fresh from here. So let's go. Um, Four of Wands. The Four of Wands is a, a lovely card of celebration. And it's a celebration of something that's important enough to pull people together. Milestones, wedding showers, a wedding, you know, a baby shower, an anniversary party, birthday party. But people come together to celebrate someone, perhaps. It could be you. It could be you accomplishing something like a promotion or graduating from uh, uni the university. And so your friends, your family are able to feel the joy and the happiness with you. And often with this Four of Wands, there is the sense that it's the reward that's coming, the recognition, the uh, ability to share your accomplishment with others. And as you see the, the couple here walking and skipping through the portal, there's a sense of, um, of a new path. And often that new path occurs after the milestone has been reached. So a very wonderful card for some, this may resonate in terms of um, having a committed relationship maybe getting engaged or thinking about marriage. For others, it could be other external accomplishments for you that are being rewarded. So it's a lovely card and it's further reinforced by the sun. The sun is the major arcana and the sun, you know, it's radiance and brilliance and it brings us our life force. And so in turn, having that life force allows us to live freely and happily and to be inspired. We create, we share, we laugh, we dance. You know, the sun is the center force for all of that. And so with the sun, you know, you, you see the children here skipping and running. And there's that carefree playing in the warmth, the warmth of the sun. And uh, again, it's that spirit, it's the spirit of playfulness within. But the sun brings to us happiness, good relationships, good health. Again, this is also could be a card of recognition where you uh, are being recognized for something that you've accomplished. You, the sun is shining on you. And I think that with, with the sun, there's a real important um, idea here of, you know, the sun provides illumination. And that light we feed off of. And so it's important to return the light, to share your light, and put that out in the world as well. Because when you see um, people who are bringing their light and their happiness and their joy to others, you know, it creates a ripple effect. It creates, uh, you know, a, bo a beautiful place to be, a beautiful community. So a lot of nice feelings here with the Four of Wands and the Sun. And then we have the Two of Wands, and we see the finely dressed merchant. He's looking out over the water and the mountains. He has the globe in front of him. And he's thinking to himself, hmm, what's, what's next for me? This is a card of looking at the long view, the big picture, of thinking about what is it next that I'm going to do, that I'm going to bring into my life, 
and uh, you know, twos are often about decisions. And so decisions, you're thinking about decisions. You're thinking about perhaps the consequences to those around you, your family, your loved ones, your friends, perhaps your coworkers. And how do the decisions that you're hoping to make, how will they impact them? But really, this is the early stage of creation and of manifestation, and it starts with a dream. I would also say that this is like the dream big card because you really are beginning to think about it and to think about how you're going to bring it out and to make it real. And so while we are told and, and we live in the present and to enjoy each day, there is something to be said for thinking about what's next because it's a part of your spiritual growth and simply your growth in general of what what's the big picture for me in two years where do i want to be what kind of life do i want to lead and do i want to have children or get married and, and you are sitting and thinking about that long view so particularly if there's been some type of completion here where you've been celebrating it, and maybe this is just the next extension of that. So this is a beautiful spread for Sunday. And again, the heart, the heart is the sun here, a simply beautiful card to have. So let's take a look at the numbers we have. 4 and 19 is 23. 23 and 2 is 25, and that reduces to 7. 7 is about ref, uh, reflection. It's about discovery, um, your mind. It also can be about wisdom. And now the, the um, oracle card that I chose was breathe deeply. And breathe deeply is a wonderful um, idea because it's when we are feeling hectic or when we're feeling off kilter or off balance. If we can just remember to take a deep breath, to be still for a moment. It has a powerful and restorative uh, result. So I love this idea of breathe deeply and um, some, sometimes we simply need to do that. And I'm just going to go ahead and choose another card. And we'll see what the bonus oracle is. Shift it. Beautiful. Shift it. It's again, it's all about your thinking what you visualize and what you hope for and what you see uh, leaves a pretty good imprint. And then it kind of filters into your heart and to your limbs about how you're going to make it be. So start with your perspective. Start with how you approach life and your hopes and your dreams and your loves and your relationships and everything like that. So two lovely cards. And uh, I hope that you have a wonderful Sunday. I will see you the next day for another reading. And thank you to all the subscribers, new and my regular watchers as well. I appreciate it so much. And uh, all the best. See you tomorrow.